this is why we are with Beam and G Drive, and today we are going to look at a mod. Now this mod is an elevator, so if you know what an elevator is, you should already know what to expect for the most part. Elevators are those things that go up, and then they go down, and then they go up and down, and up and down, up and down, up and down, and that is how an elevator works. They go up and down. I don't want to explain the whole hoists and counterweights and all that, because that's not my job. Plus, this one doesn't have counterweights. It is just an elevator that looks like this, and it does exactly what you would expect. It lifts and lowers. It doesn't do any speed records of any sort. But it does its job. Look at that. See? And uh, to control this, you use the uh, period or comma key on your keyboard or just the uh, blinker buttons. You know, whichever way is more easier for you to think of. But that's how you control it. And you could go up and down, no problem. And, uh, well, we can look at this all day. You know, oh, look, it goes up. Oh, look, it goes down. Oh, my God. But that's boring. We need something to interact with it. So let's uh, let's spawn ourselves a car. And we go. Oh, no, 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 Gretchen. Oh, yes. We'll crush them later. I promise, the crushing of cars will come later. For now, I want to use the elevator the way it was meant to be used. To just lift and drop things, because we can crush cars later. But for now, let's, let's, let's respect the elevator and uh, make it do what it was supposed to do. So we put one car on it, let's see, will it work? No problem. Nah, look at that, no problem, just, yep, it works. We need something heavier. How about instead of a truck, we use a, uh, oh yeah, big, well, I was going to say big rig. But steamroller probably weighs even more. If I remember correctly, this thing weighs about 20 kilograms or 20,000 kilograms in Demon G uh, drive. I did a check once, and it was about 20,000 kilograms. And uh, well, just for like average weight comparison, it's actually lifting it. That's um, surprising. I didn't know if it would. Uh, just for comparison, though, an average um, car like my big fat four door, I think it weighs like 1,300 kilograms or so. You know, without me in it and a half tank of gas or so. It's like it weighs like 1,300 kilograms, so that is roughly uh, a dozen cars, at least, that is on the platform, basically. So that thing can do any task you ask of it. It could just, I mean, if it lifts a steamroller, it can lift a dozen cars, no problem. But what about two steamrollers or three steamrollers? Or f well, I don't think we could fit four. Maybe we'd be lucky to fit just two. So let's go ahead and try uh, adding another steamroller to this thing. We will break this thing. I mean, ain't I? Let's see, where's the uh, car I just spawned? Didn't I hit spawn? Oh, no, don't get crushed! Stop it! Ah! Didn't get crushed. I saved its life. Just in time. So let's put two steamrollers on there. We are going to break this thing somehow. We're either going to break it, or at least try to, you know? If we can't break it, I say good job on you, platform. But I will try my hardest to break you. Okay. Two steamrollers. Can you lift it? Oh my goodness, oh, it really did. Okay, time to get a third steamroller. That's 60,000 kilograms or so. Like I said, I remember if I remember correctly, 20,000 kilograms of steamroller. Which is a lot. Like I said, that's... You now 60 kilograms is just absurd heaviness. No elevator should be, able, should be doing something like this. But here we are. 60 kilograms, go, go, go! No way, no way! What? Elevator, you're too good. Fine, we'll put another car. <laughs> See if I care. I'll just put another one. I'll put another steamroller until you can't lift me no more. In fact, I'll put two. You can't tell me what to do. I just gotta figure out which one of these is a car and which one's a steamroller. Yeah, I know they're overlapping, but that's okay. It's the only way to make them fit easy. Alright. We're just making a stack of steamrollers on this thing. So we're going to do five steamrollers at 20,000 kilograms each or so. That is 100,000 kilograms. Um, yeah. Okay. Can you lift that? Okay, you're not going to stop this thing from lifting it. Because 20,000, or 100,000 kilograms is the equivalent of about, oh, let's see, 10, maybe about 12 H cubes. 13, 12 H cubes in that area. What? I mean, that's a weird measurement. Like, how many H cubes is that? But that is a ton of weight. Well, it's figuratively, it's a, a lot more than a ton. Or literally, it's a lot more than a ton. But that's a ton of weight, and it's still holding up. So this elevator is unstoppable, as far as I'm concerned. Like, you're not going to get more weight on this thing. Because I'm pretty sure the steamrollers weigh, weigh more than the um, the T-Series Big Rig does. And I'm just stacking on these steamrollers, like it's n and the thing is just like, it's nothing. Come on, get, you can do better than this. It's like that to me, you know? See, I can't do better than this. This is the heavy thing I got. I don't got anything heavier than a steamroller. 
I mean, we could just keep spawning them until it breaks, but I don't know if it will. We could just keep going like, oh, more steamrollers, more cars until the game lags out or something. Oh, more cars. This will be it. Like, because I'm starting to lag here. It's like, why are you stacking cars on into each other? Game is freaking out. We're going to make that last one a steamroller as well, and then we'll see what happens. All right, so this is just so much weight I don't even feel like calculating it because I lost count of how many steamrollers there are and I can't count them anymore. It's a lot of weight. Oh, it, wow. You saw the whole platform. Oh, my. Just, wow. The whole platform dipped down. Like, it was just like, oh, I'm going to lift this. And it lifted it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this elevator means business, man. It's like, I don't care what you put on me. I'm going to lift it. And it did. That's insane. All right, I'm going to go ahead and restart this thing just to get rid of all those things. Um, I mean, I don't need to do it like this, but I could do it like this as well. We could use the map editor to get rid of them, so we'll do that, actually. Okay, hopefully, uh, I always have a habit of talking over that, so hopefully I waited long enough. And just say, boom. Ta-da, they're gone. That was easy, huh? All right, so let's get ourselves a nice new platform. And now that we've proven that this thing can lift literally whatever you put on it, how about the opposite? What about, can it crush things? I mean, obviously the answer is yes. I would really be surprised if it can't crush things, to be honest. The question is just how good does it crush it, really, to me? Because I know it'll be able to crush things. It's like a multi-use tool, you know? You need to lift something, I got that. You need to crush something, we also got that. Probably be a good way to test the uh, strength of the roof of a car. Crunch! Oh, that's trippy. See, eventually, it, it, it the, the, your car is just supporting the weight of the platform. So then the roof, it just, it just stopped. You notice that? Because it's like that is supporting the full weight of the platform on your car now. So if we had a car that was like fancier with a roll cage or something. Oops, reset the wrong thing. Um, but if we had a car like a ro with a roll cage, I wouldn't be surprised. I can't move my camera. Oh, there we go. Don't know why. Uh, if it could hold up that thing a little bit easier. So like if we put an Abishu Covet with its roll cage down there, it might hold up without much denting. Which might be interesting, I think. Just to see. Can this thing with its fancy, you know, roll cage hold it up? It doesn't matter how high st up it starts, as far as I know. Because it still comes down at the same rate of speed. It doesn't accelerate or anything more. It comes down at a steady pace. So here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Faster. It's a little slow. No, the roll cage is not good enough. Roll cage is not good enough. Ah, console, not tab. There we go. All right, we can lift it back up. Can it lift up okay after that? Will it be okay? I guess it's okay, yeah. Oh, we're eating the abishu. All right, what if we try We put, like, two or three abishus under there. Can they work as a team to support the weight? Well, maybe we'll do four. One at each corner, right? It makes sense. So we'll do four abishus all there, trying to support the weight of this thing. Okay, let them all spawned up. Teamwork. We can't use some teamwork up in this thing right here. We're going to all work as a team. And, uh, you know, this is a great life lesson. Working as a team may fail you sometimes. <laughs> we'll see if working as a team works in this case or not. But we're going to put four of these cars down, and we're going to try to support the weight of the platform with the roofs of these cars, and hopefully the roll cage, plus the four of them all together, will mean that it won't crush them and die. Or teamwork will fail entirely and they'll all get crushed in anyways and be like, yep, teamwork sucks. <laughs> we'll see what happens. You know, it's either going to be like uh, like a school project where it's like my teammates suck or it's going to be like something else where it's like my teammates are great. Oh, it worked. Whoa. It lifted up the whole thing. The whole platform moved. But look, it worked. Four of them held it up perfectly. Oh, that's cool. That is all scienced up, man, but that's cool. But did you see how much the platform moved? It actually moved. Oh, what the? There we go. Squish it more! Squish it more! It won't squish it more. Oh, there was lifting it. Whoops. 
How funny. The three of them get taken away, and this one's like, no, 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 you guys suck. I win. He just drives off while the other ones are getting uh, lifted away. All right, let's close the let's close the platform again. Where is it? There we go. Crunch him again. Go, 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 go. Come on. It's so slow. It's just like, oh, come on, go, 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 go. Yes, yes. There needs to be like a hyper version of this thing, you know? When it just goes, and whenever you hit the button, it just flies across. Whoa! Look at that whole thing moving, man. It was crazy when the whole thing just lifts up like that. It's like I don't expect it so it's like whoa every time we're gonna tip this whole elevator over watch once we're gonna tip the elevator over eventually just just we wait look at this whoa it's lifted it's lifting oh the legs just went through a car that's not good okay so let's uh go and respawn everything how about this if we have three steamrollers on the top of it does that make it crush a lot harder so we'll try that. We're going to try putting three steamrollers on top of it and see if that makes it crush harder because that's an extra 60,000 uh, kilograms of weight. That's a, a lot. Again, I already went over this. These steamrollers are heavy. They don't flatten ground for no reason. They flatten ground because they're their heaviness. Alright, so we're going to try putting three steamrollers on this thing and then we're going to try to crush a car using the steamrollers as weights. Okay. Steamrollers are in place. Uh, which one is the... Uh this one is the platform. Right, so we'll lift it up. Get this car under there. I'm so sorry, car. You're gonna be crushed probably very badly. And platform go down. Let's see here. Alright, we're gonna crush this thing with the weight of three steamrollers. This thing should get really crushed this time. That thing got more crushed than the normal one. Oh, definitely. That thing got way more crushed than normal. Look at that, it glitched out. We crushed it so hard. That didn't happen before. That's because of the weight of the three steamrollers. Wait, two steamrollers. One of them just just disappeared. He literally just disappeared out, out of nowhere. Uh-oh. I think the game even froze, even. It froze. Oh, great. That's not good. Yeah, we broke the game. Don't try to crush a car with three steamrollers at once using an elevator. The game really doesn't like that. It doesn't like it at all. That is, uh, that's way too much weight. That's the problem. You know, with the elevator itself plus the steamrollers, I wouldn't be surprised if that thing was touching, uh, 100,000 kilograms. I, I mean, maybe not. Maybe not that high. Probably the platform wasn't that heavy, but still, that's at least 60,000 kilograms. That's a ton of weight, and, uh, well, I think I can say I've learned my lesson about that, so we won't do that again. Um, <laughs> just, let's not do that. Right, let's go ahead and get us a new, um, what's it called, elevator, though. And, I have an idea now. What if we put an elevator on my elevator? Yep. We're gonna try that. We're gonna put an elevator on the elevator, and see what happens. So I'm gonna go and move this over to here, and we gotta make this an elevator as well. And the only way to actually precisely stack these, I would think, is to use a map editor, so that's how we'll do it. So we'll go ahead and get both elevators, okay. And reset them both so they're nice and stable. And map editor. Okay, hopefully I waited long enough to talk, so there we go, we're gonna just grab this. Freeze physics with J, hopefully that worked, let's check. Yep, it worked. That's not falling from gravity. That means it worked. So we're going to go line it up. Actually, you know, the best way to do this would probably be using the numbers themselves. You know, just match the numbers instead of doing it like that. So instead of doing it like that, we could have just copy-pasted the numbers, but oh well. If this doesn't work, we'll do that. How's that? That's my plan. If just winging it doesn't work, we'll actually do it correctly. But hopefully just winging it will work. All right, there we go. That looks pretty on spot right there. Now we just gotta make it higher. There we go. All right. Oh goodness. I don't think they're uh, the tops have collisions actually. That might be what it is. Can you see how it goes straight through the other ones like that? And the only thing that holds it up is the platform hitting the uh, the rope kind of thing. I think it's uh, just made where you're not supposed to do that. That's my my conclusion at least. Um, 
Feel free to disagree with it, but I don't think this is going to happen. We'll try it one more time. I don't think you're supposed to stack the elevators, though. It's one of those things like, what are you doing, you idiot? You're not supposed to do that, but I wanted to try it. No, you don't try something that dumb. Oh, they don't even line up right anymore. But watch how it just falls straight through it like that. That's like, uh, no. That's me, the game, saying no. So let's go back into normal mode. What did we what did we make even over here? Look at that. It's just like a blah. It's going all off to the side and stuff. It's just like, what is this? By the way, colors don't work on that. Uh, just so you know. just want you to know that, okay? Colors don't work, unfortunately. You can't have a cool looking, you know, black and red elevator or something. You know, blue elevator. I don't know. What color is cool for an elevator? Like, is there ever like a time where you make a color on an elevator and you're like, man... My elevator looks cool. But you see that? Yeah, we just drive right through that. So we're not going to be able to stack them. Just based on that. Because those, uh, those aren't a clipping surface. I mean, those aren't a uh, surface where you can hit, you know. Uh, there's a word for that. Um, collision. Those aren't a collision surface. They're just nothing. And that's close enough to technically, right? Anyways, <laughs> enough of that. Let's try, um, let's try this. So we saw that um, the uh, elevator is totally fine no matter how much of the uh, weight you put on it, right? What if we put a lot of wind on it? So we're going to go here, go to BNG3, put uh, about maybe 100 meters per second downward wind on it. Because that's a huge surface area. Oh, that's upward wind. I just tossed my elevator into the air. Not what I meant to do. Downward wind on the elevator. There we go. Okay. So try to lift now. Can it lift still? Oh, look at it bending. Look at the end bending. Oh, goodness. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. What if you try to go down again with it all bent up? Oh, that's bad. This is going straight through the ground. No, it's just bending it. Oh, it just bent it back. Oh, elevator, you're killing yourself. Oh, man. this. Is right, let's just go extreme with this thing. Uh, what if we, uh, uh, oh, what about if we lift it all the way, then we put wind on it, then we use it like as a trampoline and let go of the wind to see if it'll bounce, you know? I'm thinking it might. So we'll put it up and then we'll try, I don't know, 300 meters per second, I guess? Let me let it go all the way out first. Then we'll try 300 meters per second of wind and we're going to make a trampoline and it's going to, woo, hopefully, or it might not. We'll see. Here we go. Whoa. Mmm. Maybe a little more. We could do a little more, it seems like. How about 400? 500. 600. How much wind can this thing take? 800. This thing is just... You're not breaking it. 1,000, okay. 1,000, that's it. That's like that's so much wind, it's ridiculous. I notice it's vibrating. I don't know what exactly will happen if I put a car in it while it does that. Uh, nothing too bad. It just kind of slides around. Now what if we took all the wind off? Just said the wind's gone. It just jumped. And the car is gone. The car is just... Yep, we made it. Yep, the car has left the area entirely. Look how high it flew. Well, you can't really look how high this is, but look. Do you see how high we is? This is so high. I mean, just... just like, all jokes aside, that is so high. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is the best trampoline ever. Best trampoline ever. And it still works, possibly. I don't know, will it still work? Let's tone it down a bit. Let's go only 100. Let's put the car back on it. Which is the car? This one. Okay. Car is not quite on it. It's in it. Let's make sure it's on it. Okay, so we're toning it down. See if it makes it a little bit more reasonable. Oh, it didn't do nothing. No way. You gotta have at least something happen. Fine, 500 then. There we go. I saw a drop. Look at that. The car flew away. Yes. I like my trampoline. Uh, Alright, so I think that'll do it for the um, elevator. Works well as a trampoline, additionally, which is a nice uh, little bonus, I think. Let's see, what happens if we put the wind to even more extremes, like 20,000? Or 2,000, sorry. Oh, good.
goodness. It gets a little crazy. Uh, yeah, don't if you're have if you're prone to have a seizure, you might want to stop watching, uh, because that thing is uh, going crazy. What does it look like if it's in slow mo? <laughs> what the heck is going on? It's dancing. Look, it's dancing. The elevator's dancing. It's saying goodbye. That's the elevator's way of saying goodbye. It's doing its goodbye dance. I know this. I've studied elevators for years. This is how they react when they want to say goodbye. So that'll be the end of the video. So until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.